I suppose. I mean, I'd been following the career of the Sex Pistols just because I used to read the music papers because I was so bored at work. And I used to devour them and I'd, I'd noticed the little pictures that started appearing and them fighting at gigs. <coughs> that seemed to make more sense to me, that that struggle and that physicality that got to see Led Zeppelin or Deep Purple. I thought, oh, I can relate to that. You know, but you know, I was having a hard time relating to Jimmy Page and Robert Plant and stuff. So when the Sex Pistols came along, I could see it, you know. I thought, oh, God, yeah. It's like, well, you see, it was like somebody opened a door in a darkened room. I saw a way out. And that was it. I thought, shit, that's it. And it, it was quite an odd thing to do musically. I mean, when I, when I think about it now, because I'm a stroke musician, I mean, why the hell would four people suddenly decide they were going to make music when they'd never made music before just because they'd seen a shit band? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, that is fucking madness. And then that band then goes on to be Joy Division, you know, as influential as, as we've been, which is fantastic. It is absolutely. Now, that wasn't planned. 